Hello friend and welcome to my video. So today I'm going to show you how I use Vectornator to make a drawing out of a sketch that I made before. So first I'm going to select the drawing that I'm talking about to put it as a background and I'm going to use a layer for that and then I'm going to change the opacity of the layer so that it's almost transparent. I'm going to add a layer and then I'm going to start with the first shape. Um, for this guy, I'm going to use the round shape and then I'm going to twitch it a little bit. So I'm not going to add any knots, but I'm going to just change the way that they're uh, rounding. I don't know how to, how to say that. And then I'm going to add another, like the antenna of the, the drawing. I'm going to do it with the pen tool. To change the way that the knots are, if they're sharp or round, you have to double tap the knot and then you can just move it. And since the antenna, I want, I want it to be behind the head, I just reversed the layers. So that was quick. And then I'm going to use the pen tool for most of the drawing. Always double tapping when I want it to be round instead of very sharp. And I'm going to just add all the shapes that I want. Um, as you can see, I'm going to put as not so many knots so that everything is kind of smooth. But of course, if you need to add more, you can add it also afterwards by clicking on the little arrow, the second one. And then I'm going to just move the knots, try to navigate through this. Um, the shapes of it and then I add another shape so that's the arm and it's going to go back behind the head so first I try to make it look like a, as I want and then I'm going to go in the layers and I'm just going to put it behind the head you can move them back and forth then for the legs since I'm still in the same colors because I didn't show you but the colors were already in my color palette that I pre-made. So I already picked this purple and also the, um, the outline. For the t-shirt or the dress, I used the green that I already saved before and I'm not so precise, I just make it very quickly and to have a general feeling of the drawing. And I add each component always with the pen tool. Somehow I started by making it with um, the shapes that are already there. For example, the circle, the, uh, the square, ever, etc. But somehow I felt that I feel more comfortable by deciding where the knots are going to be. And it actually goes faster for me. Um, for the eyes, I decided to still, I'm going to use the, um, the, the round shape. And just like uh, I did for the face or the, the head, I'm just going to change it a little bit on the side. So it's not really round, but a bit more like, you know, like this kind of um, shape. Then for the, the mouth, I removed the filling. I just used the outline so that I can have a straight line. And I, I finished with adding the eyes. Again, a circle that I changed a bit. So I'm going a bit fast here, but um, you can always copy paste a shape. And now I opened a new, I mean, I created a new layer. Um, and I'm just starting with the head of this character. Again, I already knew what colors to use, so I didn't really think about it. And then I'm go just going to create the head again. As you can see, since I know that 
the head is gonna be behind the hat. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just gonna focus focus more on um, the shape. It's quite repetitive, so that's why I put it quite fast. But um, I might make another video where I'm just focusing on making like small shapes and with the close up and very slowly. But this one, it was mostly me making this drawing or this illustration. And um, this is the first part where I'm making most of the, of the stuff. As always, I'm, I'm using the pen tool to make all the shapes and you get used to it after a while because at first I was really lost. I didn't know how to use it. Uh, I didn't really understand the way that you have to see the shapes like each line or yeah, each line has to be a shape in some way. And then you just get used to it and you understand that it's layers and it gets easier. But that was not me at the beginning. It was not like that. So here I made the pants and they look really squarish. As you can see, I always double tap to make it round. And some places they can just stay very um, sharp. So it's fine. The boots also, since it's very round, I'm just, I think I have what, one, two, three, four, like six knots. And for me, it's better to not have so many because then it's less round or less, um, how do you say, smooth. But of course you can do it as you wish. Like if you want a lot of details, if you want to add more knots, it's not bad, I think. I think some designer would say that no, you should have the least as possible. And um, yeah, I mean, I don't think there's always the rules that you have to follow and that it makes sense for everybody. So I'm more for like understanding how it works and then playing with, with it the way I want or the way I want it to be or to render. So again, I'm using the pen. I mean, I don't know for you, but if you look at how I'm working, it takes time. But somehow it's not that hard. I mean, I was, you see, I'm, I'm double tapping all the, um, the points because I want them to be round for the boots, for the um, sole. So I was saying, yeah, it, it, it looks like it's easy and it's somehow it is easy. Um, you just have to think in a different way. If you're like me, coming from a place where you draw by hand or you use Procreate or other softwares and apps where you just draw the way you always learned it, drawing in vector, in a vectorized way is a bit different, but it's quite fun. Like here, I, um, I, I kind of hesitated. I was like, wait. I made a copy of this um, square, a rectangle, and then I was like, I can just copy it and it's gonna become something. And as you can see, I wasn't sure what to do with it. So I decided to make the last part just by copying this part and then changing it. So it didn't make sense. I could have just made it with the pen tool, basically. I'm not the best when it comes to perspective and all the stuff. I draw more in like 2D and I don't really see things in in perspective or in 3D very easily. So, but I'm fine with it. I mean, I'm not, it's not a complex, I don't care. I love to draw like this way. It really makes my style, my style. So um, I don't mind actually, but with vectors, I'm trying to learn also how to do that. And I enjoy it. I really enjoy that. Uh, 
uh, somehow I don't know why I didn't make the face of the, the second character <laughs> um, before I made the the other stuff but whatever you can always come back and work more on it again I use the pen tool I felt more comfortable you can use the pencil tool so you can really draw as you would draw uh, with your hand like freely but somehow I don't feel so comfortable with it I mean no it's not that it's just that when I draw with the pencil then there's so many knots that are added and then I don't know like I have to erase them and blah 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 and I realized that by using the pen tool I go faster and I also have uh, the result is more is closer to what I actually want. And here, as you can see, I copied the eyes of the of Simo, the character, the alien, to paste it on the other one on Fraz, but it didn't work because I was on the same layer. So when you copy paste directly, then it just pastes on the same uh, layer, and I had to move them to the other layer group, etc, etc. So uh, I could have just made a new eyes and that would have been quicker, I think. Same with, um, with the mouth. I somehow I couldn't find it because I pasted it there and it just, it just pasted on the alien's face. So it didn't make any sense. <laughs> um, also, it's a straight line, so I could have done it quite easily. And now I think I'm going to work on the hair. So, as you can see again, I'm using the pen tool, I'm making all the hair like that. And you start and then you finish by clicking on the first knot that you created. And here I realized that if I want the hair to look nicer, I had to add a knot, so I did it. And I'm gonna just change all the um, all the hair because I want it to be more uh, round. It looks really emo right now. So double tap, double tap everywhere, and then I just change it if I need to. You see. Just double tapping and changing. I know it goes fast, but you can also, if you need to see it more in detail, you can also slow down the video on YouTube so you can see it maybe better. I just made it fast because it's super repetitive. Like the whole drawing is actually me using the pen tool and doing that. The good thing with vectors is that if I make these characters again, I can just copy paste um, their face or whatever from one drawing to another, and I can use it on another one. So I don't have to do the whole thing all again. And it also uses the same colors and everything, so I know that I'm still using the same colors. So this is super practical. And here I made the speech bubble, but uh, I'm not even sure I'm gonna write anything in there right now so it's a, it's a circle and then i just added this thing with the pen tool again so that's part one um oh yeah okay i'm, I'm adding um the background so you just have to add a layer and put it at the bottom of the list of the layers so this is part one where i didn't even change the colors or make anything and see you in part two.